Hello Capricorn, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. So it's going to be a general reading for you to be dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel and Valley 53 Tarot if she's review as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Interesting. Very interesting. There you are, Capricorn. Okay. Um, oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. This could go one or two ways, Capricorn. One of two. Yeah, it could go one of two ways. Ooh. One more. I'll jump into this. what I thought that's what I thought um okay here we go there's definitely a lot weighing on their mind and there's a lot that they're thinking about and contemplating when it comes to the two of you now here's the thing as they are sitting with their thoughts and kind of sorting through some emotions and feelings they are having some sort of personal realization as to how much love they have to give and invest with you. There's clearly some sort of connection between the two of you. At the same time, I'm not too sure exactly what the dynamic is. Um, genuine connection, yes, but the truth that they are realizing kind of puts them in a mood where it feels like they're not 100% emotionally invested. Um, or it could be just something, you know, going on with them themselves. I don't exactly know. But because there is a genuine connection there that they do feel something, they are deciding, you know what, let's just kind of see where this goes. As things are moving forward, they're kind of saying because there is that desire to find out, they're saying, okay, well, things are things are actually in a good flow. Things are in a good uh, momentum here. But the longer they sit with and process their own emotions about you, Capricorn, they're conflicted because... There's something here where they're battling themselves, where they're not too sure emotionally, like I said at the start of this, they're not too sure exactly what they feel for you. Um, there's a consideration of, do they want more with you? Do they not want more with you? What is this between the two of you? What is it not? There's a little bit of a flip-flop back and forth energy um, where I have to be honest, Capricorn, they're, you're not the only one they're considering. You're not the only person that they are considering pursuing. Um, so like I said, I, I kind of feel like for them, they're like emotionally just not 100% in it. Um, they know they have to make a decision of, will we be something? Will we be an item? Will we not? It, this is interesting because they kind of, um, they kind of get, I don't know how to say this. They kind of get edgy and I don't know why. It's almost like because they're so flustered or frustrated or even irritated that it's like, well, uh, they don't know. They don't know with themselves. And so they're making that decision of like, they need to really sit down with themselves and their thoughts and their emotions and figure out what the two of you actually are to one another. They're saying that the more they step back from the situation, the more that they are becoming aware of. And they're saying, you know what? Something is just, this something here is just ending or closing out for them. 
And I feel like it was definitely their decision to do so. I don't know if that means that they're kind of like, yeah, no, Capricorn, it's not going to go anywhere. It's 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 nothing they want to pursue. Um, or if it's just them kind of just saying, you know, yeah, there's the tower. Or it's just them saying, you know what, it's just not emotionally an it. kind of it circles back around to them um even though like i said it, it seems and it feels like goodness even though it seems and it feels like they, they do unfortunately close the door to anything that the possibly the two of you could have had um it does i do see it does come as a shock to you and you're kind of like well what the hell and it kind of you know puts you on edge a little bit as well and it's like well what the hell what's going on here um they're guarded they they are definitely guarded in their it's interesting is that they're guarded and there definitely is some sort of space or distance between the two of you. And once again, that's because emotionally speaking, they just don't know where they're at. Um, they don't even know exactly where they want to exactly be regarding their work, their career, their foundation, what they're kind of putting together for themselves. I do see for them that there's a focus and intention on career, money, finances, stability. Um, but again, with the way things are going and moving forward, they're saying things are moving forward in such a pace where the problems, the issues, and the difficulties, they can't avoid them. And in a sense, things are just getting kind of worse. Um, and so they're saying that they're needing to kind of take care of things and do what they got to do for themselves. Um, but they're kind of saying they want to, they kind of want to go in their own way. And so they're saying, intuitively speaking, they have to go their own journey. Um, there is something here financially that they are kind of moving towards, but they just don't know what it's going to be for them financially. Yeah, they, they just don't know. They just don't know. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Stability. Stability. It, it could be their work foundation or career, but it's overall stability. That's what they're trying to figure out. Um, jeez, 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 jeez. Mm, mm. It, it, they're, again, they're, they're just saying it's just not it. They're like, their main focus and priority is on living situation stability, but they're saying that they're kind of like overburdened by everything they got to take care of so of course if you are dealing with anyone you could be dealing with an earth sign a fire sign an air sign or a water sign they're all here goodbye